Welcome back to Space Rocks, the Godot game engine tutorial series. This is part four. We're going to continue with the asteroids we made in the last video and update them to allow us to spawn them in different sizes, different quantities, and in different locations. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update our main scene. We're going to delete all these asteroid instances because I don't want to manually uh, have to instance them here. What I want to happen is we're going to have different different levels, different waves, and different numbers of meteors are going to spawn. So we're going to have our main node be in charge of that. So we're going to delete these. OK, now we're just going to add a script to our main node. Uh, we want to make sure we put that in the scripts folder. And this script is going to control the game, it's, or it's going to manage all of the objects in the scene. So it's going to spawn meteors, however many we want for whatever level we're on. It's going to keep track of the score. It's going to display the, uh, display the score and whatever HUD information we want to show, all that kind of thing. So first, let's look at our asteroid here. And we have all of this art over here. And we have a bunch of different sizes of the asteroids brown ones and gray ones. I'm going to use the gray ones, but there are big, medium, small, and tiny. So there's four different sizes. And what I'm going to want to happen is when we blow up a big one, it's going to split into multiple medium ones, and the medium ones will break into small ones and so forth. So we want to be able to, when we spawn the asteroid, tell it what texture to use. And by that, you know, in relation to that, how big to be. Okay, to save you watching me type them out, I have just skipped ahead to, I made this textures, which is a dictionary. And the keys are just the four different sizes. And each key is pointing to a list that is a list of the different textures. So all we're going to do is when we spawn the asteroid, we're going to tell it what size we want. And whichever size we pick, it's going to pick a random texture out of that category. OK, so now we want to take out this line because we don't want to, we don't know the size yet when we first run the script. So we haven't chosen the texture yet, so we can't set the extents. So we're going to make a function called init. And we're going to, what we're going to pass to this is the size that we want and the position where we want it to spawn because we don't want them all to spawn on top of each other in the same locations. Okay, And so we're going to have to pick what texture to use. And this is going to be a random choice out of the particular category of whatever size we chose. So we're going to load from the textures dictionary with the key size. And then the item we want is a random one out of the list. So we're going to pick a random number. And we'll use the modulus to make sure we pick between, like if there's three, we'll pick zero, one, or two. We want to just take whatever the textures size category is dot size. So if there's three, this will be equal to three. So we're taking a random integer modulo 3, which can only give us 0, 1, or 2. OK, so we've got the texture. Now we need to just set our sprite node. So we're going to get node sprite set texture to that texture. And then we can use the, then we can get the extents like we did before. That's just the texture get size divided by two. We're going to set position to whatever position we specified. And that's it. So let's let's just try this out by calling in it with a big meteor at screen. We'll put it at screen size over two, center of the screen, just to try this out. Let's hit run scene. And there we've got a big asteroid. If we run it again, you might see, yeah, we got a different texture. 
And we can even try it if we put small in there, we should see a small one. Right? There's a small one. Now, our only problem now is that if I turn on collision shapes, we are going to see that when we spawn a small one, it's still going to have this big collision circle because we set our collision size to that size. And now we'll have the problem that we need the size of this collision object to be the collision shape to be the radius of whatever texture we're using. Right? We don't want it to be the same size when the media, when the texture is smaller. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this. We're going to delete that collision shape. And we're going to make the collision shape when we choose our texture. So what we can do is when after we set the texture, we're just going to say we're going to make a new circle shape 2D object, because that's what we want. And we're going to take that shape and we're going to set its radius. We're going to set its radius to, well, we want to know how wide the texture is, but some of these, some of these images are wider than they are tall and vice versa. So I don't want the circle to be set by this distance, the distance across if the distance, if the height is smaller. So, so we're going to choose the minimum of the texture dot get width over two or the texture get height over two. So whichever one is smaller, we'll use that as the radius. And then we just have to say add shape. And that adds the shape to our kinematic body. So now we'll have the right size shapes for whatever size asteroid we're spawning. So we're going to get rid of this. This was just a test. All right, so let's go over to our main scene and start out by spawning some of these. So we need a we need to load that asteroid scene so we can instance it. So we're going to use preload to do that. And we want the asteroid scene, so I'm just going to copy the path there Oops. and paste that in. And now we have that. And now what we want to do is when the game starts, we're going to spawn, say, five of these. But we need to pick where to spawn them. And to do that, I'm going to use that handy position 2D like we used on the ship. And I'm going to set some spawn locations around the screen. So I'm going to do that real quick and skip the video of me clicking on all of them. Okay, So I've just made eight of these position 2D nodes labeled 1 through 8. And I've put them in a container called spawn locations so that they're organized and we can hide them. And these are going to be the spots where the asteroids can spawn when we when we start. That way we know since we're putting the ship at the middle, at the beginning the, they're going to spawn out here on the edges and not be right on top of the player. Okay, so on our script, let's just put in the ready that we want to spawn five of these. So we're going to count to five and we're going to say we're going to make a new asteroid instance. We're going to take that instance and we're going to add it as a child. And then we're going to take that instance and we're going to use the init that we made to say, I want them to be big. And I want the position to be, we need to use the spawn location. So we're going to say, we're going to make another a variable here. We'll just call it spawns equals get node. Uh, spawn locations. And I just want to say spawns dot get child. And the name of the the names of the children are 
those. So we can just use i. All the children of a node are just are numbered 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And so we can just get whatever one we're on, and it'll pick 1 through 5 for the places to spawn them. We just need to get that position. Okay, so let's try that. There we go, we spawn some there kind of in the corners and they come onto the screen, that looks fine. Let's randomize it again. Okay. The player has a little time to react to see where they are coming from before they start to shoot. And if we want to spawn a bunch of, say, medium ones, then we can do that too. Okay, so now we have that working the way we want and we can spawn them now we'll be able to do the shooting because when the bullet hits the asteroid i want it to break apart into multiple smaller ones so we'll be able to you know when i hit the medium one destroy it and instance two small ones there when i shoot a small one i can destroy it and instance two tiny ones there and we'll do that in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.